Hey guys, what's going on? Robbie Rowan here. So we're going to be talking about guys um, that struggle with, you know, what I talk about as far as like an overcomplicated arm path with, I guess, the, the, the proper terminology, I guess, the mainstream terminology for guys that have this really elongated that arm path. Okay. So typically what we see is guys that, that have this, this path, uh, this arm action are guys that are going to go into kind of this early arm raise and I talk a lot about this when if we go into early arm raise We don't have a delay mechanism down here. So then our trunk leaks out early and we don't Authentically create that hip shoulder separation, right? Um, so something that I want to kind of encourage guys with and I'm not saying that this is going to be like dynamite freaking feedback right off the bat but something that i would encourage these types of guys with um, that are looking towards kind of simplifying their path with their arms is to initiate more momentum forward accelerate your body forward and i almost can guarantee you that your your arm action will clean up so the body is constantly trying to organize itself okay so I think what happens, and at least I see this from, from my online clients, is the guys that have this type of path are the guys that try to defy gravity and stay back, back, back for a long duration of time. So you have a ton of time to move your arms through time and space, okay? So I think, again, just kind of maybe throwing it up against the wall, seeing if it sticks, but for those types of guys, we can accelerate their body, right? We can, we can just now program a ton of drill progressions for forward acceleration. And I, I guarantee that the hands will kind of match up, right? So some specific drill progressions that, that I would like to see with these types of guys um, to, to clean up the arm path would be like a preset foot crossover, initiate forward momentum with the head and go and see what happens, right? Or a ball in glove type shuffle throw where you're moving and accelerating forward and you're not having a ton of time to now take the ball out and wrap and go, okay? So um, just to break it down, ball and glove shuffle throw is as soon as I stabilize with my drive leg foot into the ground, that's when I take the ball out and now I'm going. Now remember, if we're specifically targeting individuals that are trying to defy gravity and give their body more time, then that's something that we need to look at as far as are you doing this drill and then still kind of getting into that same pattern. Remember, we want to initiate forward momentum with our head. We want to make sure our head is controlled in the center mass, give us more body awareness. So ball and glove, shuffle throw, right? So you're taking it out as soon as you stabilize and then go. But as I mentioned, the body is constantly going to organize itself throughout the whole entire delivery. We just need to put it into positions to maximize its potential, right? So there's a little nugget. Um, maybe you can take some from that, but I would highly encourage you guys that are types of you know throwers that, that have a lot of different checkpoints to go to with their arms, they have an arm wrap, um, whatever it may be, to take video and make sure that when you are accelerating your body forward, that now you're not dragging, okay? I, I know it's complicated sometimes, but um, remember, you've instilled these motion memory motor control patterns for such a long period of time, it's not just gonna happen in a day. So make sure you're taking video and kind of going over some checkpoints as far as, you know, okay, am I initiating forward momentum with my head? Is my head staying center mass? Am I, you know, uh, getting more connected with my hands? So uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. Big gulps, huh? Well, see you later.